Dungeons and Dragons. And junk drawer. Hello. What's up, guys? Hello. How are we doing? What's up? Welcome back. Living. Hi. So, uh, we're not tired. We're, we're, <laughs> we're definitely not. It's definitely not one o'clock in the morning. Uh, um, and I have to go to work tomorrow. What? Uh, so. And I've been up since five. What, what? A.M. Yeah. A.M. A.M. Yeah. yeah. Um, so last round, what we did is we, we basically cleared the second floor. We talked to Gray. Uh, I met Lathander. That was exciting. Um, interesting. And yeah, we, we just kind of, uh, we got a lot of information. So now we are moving up. Uh, we're going to start on the third floor. If you can see our, our little map here, uh, and we are going to be searching for that one revenant who doesn't leave his room. Uh, yeah. So that's, that's really where we're going to start. I don't want to wait too long. Let's jump into it. DM okay. whenever you're ready. Uh, so yeah, I was going to just toss in a question there. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> are we in the area of where we saw the guy looking down at us? Um, it looks like in one of the rooms that you kind of triangulate. He's probably, probably in one, one of the circle ones. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. okay. So. I feel like that was a good question. Uh, Let's see. So you're in the hallway? Yeah. Uh, where are we going? I'm going to go through this. Everything's all wonky. Sorry. Yeah. I'm going to go uh, through this door. Okay. So you go through that. That is number 40. Okay. This is exciting. This room is a haven for dust and cobwebs. Three narrow windows allows silver slivers of light to illuminate uh, bare oak shelves along the walls of torn of a torn padded chair lying on its side near a, a cavernous hearth. A picture above the mantel has been slashed, its lower half hanging down below the frame like a torn piece of flesh. An iron door set in the south corner of the west wall hangs open on one hinge. I'll, I'll look at the portrait. See. Okay. So you start putting the portrait back. And as you look at it, the picture shows the mansion in its better days. Under clear winter skies with snow-capped mountains in the background. And the top of the chapel tower glows like a silver beacon. And as you do so, the, uh, the picture and the beacon itself starts radiating light. As you put it up. The beacon in the picture flashes with a brilliant silver light, and the spectral form of a huge silver dragon fills the entire room. My skull lies in the fortress of mine enemy, displayed in a piece of fill omen, where dream pastries live. Oh shit. Return my skull to its rightful crypt. And my spirit will shine here forever, bringing hope to this dark land. And with that, the dragon's apparition just fades away. Well, that was easy. Okay, so now we know where it is. Kind of. I mean, yeah, we should still try and find that guy and at least ask him if he can point us in a direction. Whatever happened to that kid that you saved? Or was it you? No, it was me. It was us. <laughs> it was me. Either way, didn't you tell him to keep in contact? Yeah, but I haven't. I, Irina's been the one writing him and her brother, whose name I don't... Your brother-in-law. Shart. Or, not Shart. Dirt. Hmm? Can you send a message to Irina and ask if she's gotten any information from that kid? I think she's too far away. Irina? Irina's with the Dusk Elves. I think his name was Lucian. Like the father, but he was a little boy. You mean... Yeah, Lucian. Boy. You mean, you want me to try to send a message to Ismark? N no, he's, he's even farther. No. Don't worry about it, Dirt. Yeah, it's... Father Lucian? No, he's Dirt. He's dirt. He's You're... You alright? Yeah, no, I'm okay. A little fuzzy? Yeah, a little fuzzy. Mm, okay. Um... Keep on keeping on. Okay. And right about here is where that door hinge is. Where the fuck did I write that one? <sighs> God. Uh, I want to go in here. Okay. Uh, first, let's go to... I'm literally just going indoors As now. you're passing, uh, as you guys pass, you hear the soft flapping sound of wings, but can't discern its origin. 
A single piece of parchment blows off the top of a bookshelf. <laughs> Spirals lazily in the air and lands gently in front of your feet, Rufio. I will pick it up. Do you want me to read it out to you now or later? Uh, later. Okay. Do now. You know. Up to you. <laughs> now. Okay. Uh... <clears throat> My knights have fallen, and this land is lost. The armies of my enemy will not be stopped by... It's really hard to read this. Sword or spell, claw or fang. Today I will die. Not avenging... Uh, not avenging that though those who have fallen, but defending that which I have loved. This valley, this home and the ideals of the Order of the Silver Dragon. The evil surrounds me. The time has come to throw off this guise and show the heathens my truth of fearsome form. Let it spark terror in the hearts, in their hearts. Let them tell their stories of the dark triumph against the protection of the Selenok Mountains. Let Argon Vault be remembered as a dragon of honor and valor. My one regret is that my remains will not lie in their rightful place in the hollowed meadows of Argon's Vault. No doubt my bones will be scattered among my enemies, like the coins of a plundered horde, trophies of a Harvard victory. Do not fear death. I do not fear death. Though my body will die, my spirit lives on. Let it serve as a beacon of light against the darkness. Let it bring hope to the land. Rot with despair. Now, to battle. And it says, A. Okay. <laughs> I uh, will read all of that out loud and be like, cool. That was no help at all. Uh, Some context. Yeah. Just context. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, so I want to go on that room. one. Uh, Absidy, if you want to like stay back and like look for stuff. Yeah. You I'm too, Shart. Yeah. I'm going to s- just search the room. Yeah. I'll, uh, Which room are you searching? This one we were just in. Okay. Uh, you guys roll investigation as uh, you do that. Uh, you go into a room that is rich with drapes, faded by time and neglect, and they hide the windows of an otherwise empty room. But if you roll an investigation for me, mm. it'll be important. Yeah. Uh, you guys are in the study. Uh, as you go, there is a there isn't much left of the library, but there is one book that says the Oath of the Celestial on it. Okay, Other so than you that, care what we rolled? <laughs> there's, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What'd you guys That's get? Like 15. Oh, no, I'll use it 15. on the other room, because I, I, I rolled well. <laughs> sure. <laughs> What'd you get? I got a 12. Okay. Uh, I rolled a 17. As you guys are looking, Shark, you see a, uh, a rope that kind of hangs off from the curtain, the drapes that doesn't look like it belongs there. I'm gonna tug it. Okay. As you tug it, there is a uh, about the size of a fist and it looks to be a silver dragon scale that has a very long kind of chain around it. Wait, it's a scale on a chain? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna pick it up. Okay. I hang on to it. You would have to figure out what it is by attuning to it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I had a feeling that that would be a thing. Please don't attune to anything else. <laughs> We're still trying to get out of the last thing you attuned to. I'm just going to hang on to it for right now. Okay. Where are we I going next? Um, also, I'm grabbing that book. Okay. That's, Oath what was it? Celestial. Oath of the Celestial? Yep. Okay. Uh, is there anything else in this room that we see? Um, as you kind of go through, you go to like a little corner where the door hinge was leading off. Uh, the walls of this room are lined with lead and empty chests and shattered vases lie strewn upon the floor and their contains are plundered. Uh, plundered. Contents are plundered. It looks like that this is where Argonvoss kept his hoard, but it looks like it's been completely ransacked. Yeah. Okay. So we'll go out of here and then go into this next 
chamber area. Okay. Okay. That table looks very familiar. It does. does. As you go through, Deja vu. through dust and cobwebs, you see faded war banners adorning the walls of a spacious chamber, in the center of which stands a heavy wooden table. An iron chandelier hangs above the table, which surrounds by six high back chairs with wood carved dragons perched atop them. Slumped in five chairs are skeletal humans tattered in chainmail. Five? Five. Not, not six. Nope. Just, just let him say with five. <laughs> well, I'm just. So there's there's six knights though. Uh. Um. I want to look at the book real quick. Mm-hmm. What language is it in? It's Do in I know? Celestial. <sighs> Can I? I can't read it with the helmet, right? You would have to, like, if someone was speaking to you, you would understand. Mm. You don't have a read language. Yeah, yeah, Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm going to... I, I see this door. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go through it. Because there, I know that there's someone missing here, and I assume that maybe this would be their room. As or... you start going through it, <clears throat> each one of these skeletal heads pop up, each with red eyes of five revenants looking at you. And through that door comes out a sixth one. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. He's gaunt. He has long white hair slicked back. And he looks at you. All of you. And he goes, Why must the living disturb the dead? Why are you here? You shouldn't be here. We're here because we needed to rest on the way to the Amber Temple. Okay. Have you rested? Yeah. You can leave now. Well, we want to help you. Help us? Yeah. (sighs) There's no helping us. We're going to get the skull back. (laughs) Oh, are you? Tell me where it is and I'll bring it back. I have no idea where it is. You don't know where the woman may have taken it or... The woman? Yeah. We've been getting clues along this whole night. Do you know how long? You see this guy, this very gaunt skeleton, and he sits in his sixth chair. I'm sorry. What was that? We just want, we want to help you guys. There's no helping us. I don't believe He's that. He's too far gone. Who's too far gone? <sighs> My love. I need names and details here, man. Not a man. S- technically speaking. S- I have a name. Skeleton guy. What's your name? Godfrey. Sir Godfrey. Sir Godfrey. Who is your love? He's so far gone now. Is, is it, it is it gray? Gross. Mm-hmm. Never mind. Is it Argin Voss? The dragon. Yeah. No. No, my love served as his right hand. A? Was it A? That's... A is Argin Voss. It well. No. Vladimir. Vladimir. It's been so long. Oh shit, what is it? It's Strahd's name. It's him. It's his person. Fuck. I have it his somewhere. His person? Remember in the dirt, you read those those things that we found in the Watcher House, right? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that the, 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 the deed to the land that, 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 that Lady Watcher had, Lady Fiona Watcher. It was oh. Vladimir... Something. Oh, what um, was his last name? Fuck! I, t- I don't fucking remember that. Um, let me. You, let me look. You, you're the okay, reader. Okay, you okay, read. okay. I read. This I is get why it. I keep you. It's hurtful. He's had a rough day. Take it um, easy. Um, <laughs> I gotta remember what the fuck that is. Uh, fuck. It's a. It's a deed. It was in the. 
That's the storage room. Vossel von Holtz. Oh, Vossel von Holtz. So it's not. It's not Vladimir. Who's Vlad? I've heard that name. Putin? <laughs> no, it's it's not Putin. What was Vladimir's surname? I don't remember. I'm sorry. I thought you guys loved shouldn't him. be here, though. Of course, I love him with all my heart. You should know his name. Please don't poke the dead thing, Shart. There's more of them than There's there are just, of us. It's just been so long. Where where is our Vladimir's quarters? And he looks across the hall. Is there Okay. Uh, are you if we do you mind if we go check? See if there's anything we can find that'll give us a an idea of where he could be? A name, a direction. Of Vladimir? Of Vladimir, of the skull, of anything. We're just, we want to help. We're here. This is my squire. His name's Fear, and he's a, he's going to be a paladin of, of Lathander. Hmm. You serve the morning, Lord. And Dirk goes, I, I do, I think. I've been, I've been chosen. Show them the, show them the star. The, the, the and he sword. takes out the, the monk's spade, and you see them tighten, and then they kind of. And he goes, <laughs> You all have a strong spirit. We fought Strahd once. Long ago. My my love, Vladimir. He was... He led the militia. And he died. I watched him die. And then I died. And all of our men have done so as well. All that was left was Argonvost and Strahd's army. And Strahd killed a silver dragon. Like it was nothing. Uh, I'm gonna grab the, the scale from, from Shart, the dragon scale. Do you know what this does? And he kind of puts his hand out. I can try. Ding. And you see, you see this kind of archaic symbol he writes with his hand as you see this blip. Uh, where did I put it? Fucking bitch, where did I put it? <laughs> um, I just had it. I have so many fucking papers! Bro, don't take my helmet. It's okay, dude. <laughs> so many papers, so little time. It seems to be a beacon of hope. Um, I don't know where the fuck it went. I'm sorry, guys. You're good. It looks to be... Oh, did I give it to you? What is no. it? No, I just... The dragon scale. Yeah. He said that we had. he had to attune to it, and we were like, please, God, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't let me. I thought you did hand it to him. No. No, he didn't. I'm going crazy. Da, 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 da. Did you put it in the chest? I don't. You've got some green on your left. Yeah, it's I, not green. It's yellow. Oh, I put it in the yellow. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're good, man. It's late. You've been up for a while, too. This is a scale of radiant light. Hmm. It is a symbol of hope. Does it do anything? Oh, it does a plenty. What does like. it do? It guides and it brings Argonvost's essence, hope, to aid. Whether it be to attack foe or to right wrongs. I'm going to give it to Dirt. Okay. You kind of shove it in Dirt's chest and Dirk kind of just puts it around his neck. Hold it there. Can we... Would you mind if we checked Vladimir's room? He's so far gone. We're gonna save him. Don't worry. 
We're going to defeat Strahd. There's no defeating Strahd? No. We're going to defeat Strahd. Don't hurt him. You hurt Vladimir, I come and I kill you. You understand that? Heard that. Is Vladimir still here? He is. Oh. Got it. Okay. Heard that. Um. Guys. Game plan. Stay outside the door. He's... This door? Uncontro- no. Vladimir's door. He's uncontrollable right now. And... If we go down, I need somebody to come in and get us back up. Okay. Dirt, me and you are going to go into Vladimir's. I'm going to... You think that's a great idea? I I think it's the only idea I have right now, and we have to go with it. Dirt, you both share the Morning Lord. If anyone can reach him, Vladimir, it's you. I can certainly try. Hey, Dirt, look Um, at me. You can do it. While they're doing this, I'm taking every uh, weapon I have on me off. Okay. I'll stay in armor, but I'm going to take... Um, okay. No no sword, no no scythe, nothing. Okay. Where's Godfrey? Where's Vladimir's room? Hmm. And he looks over at the door he came out of. That was our room. He's probably in the audience hall. And he kind of points past the door that you guys came in. It's on the other end of that. We'll be back. And we won't hurt Vladimir. Be sure that you don't. And as you go out... Okay. So you get to the audience hall. So, the west wall... You're in here. The west wall of this 50-foot-long... 30 foot wide audience hall has crumbled leaving a gaping hole in a pile of rubble weapons and shields that once hung from the walls have fallen to the floor and succumbed to rust a large wooden throne carved to resemble a dragon with unfolding wings faces three tall windows to the west slumped in the throne is a gaunt armored figure with one gauntlet wrapped around the hilt of a great sword Just a note real quick. Yeah. The, we're keeping the door cracked, and I'm watching. Okay. Just in case anything happens. Vladimir. And the figure that sits before you is not the one that you saw in the tower that looked at you. Mm-hmm. It's a completely different revenant. He has thinning hair, gray hair onto the sides, and he's just clad in this nasty-looking armor that looks like it used to be pristine but after wear and tear and it looks like he's been wearing it for ages and you see very slowly his eyes kind of look up looks over and he takes note of Absidy and he looks back at you and as you look the creature's grip on the great sword tightens and he says if you've come to destroy me know this I perished defending this land from evil over four centuries ago. Because of my failure, I am forever doomed. If you destroy this body, my spirit will find a new course to, corpse to inhabit. I will hunt you down. You cannot free me from my damnation, nor would I wish it. Now, if you've come to free this land from the creature that feasts on the blood of the innocent, know this. There is no monster I hate more than Strahd von Zarevich. He slew Argenvost, broke the life of the knight I loved, and destroyed the valiant order to which I devoted my life. But Strahd has already died once. He can't be allowed to die again. Instead, he must suffer internally in a hell of his own creation, from which he can never escape. Whatever can be done to bring him misery and unrest, I will do, but I will destroy anyone who tries to end his torment. Now leave. He slumps back down. 
Vladimir, who do you serve? I serve no master. Godfrey's in the other room. What do you mean? Your love is right over there, and here you sit. He took my love from me. There is no one. Why don't you want Strahd dead? He must suffer. You don't think death is a suffer? He's died before. I've died many times. Oh, I'm talking a permanent death. I'm talking removal from Barovia. So naive. Mm, no, motivated. It's different. I was like you once. Motivated. Look where it got me. Vladimir, I will free you from this body. I will kill Strahd von Zarevich. No. And you see... And you hear the rust of the armor as he gets up. He must suffer. Killing him ends his suffering, and he is tormented to Barovia. To Castle Ravenloft. I know Barovia is going to hell, and Strahd is going to be strapped to it. Oh, I'm going to send him to hell myself. Don't you worry about that. And he picks up the sword. It's this ornate looking sword. It's this great sword that the handle looks like wings of a silver dragon as he puts it on his shoulder. I'm not here to fight you. I promised your Godfrey I wouldn't hit you. I wouldn't harm you in Don't any way. Don't you dare fucking use his name. He's a very kind man. We spoke. You should leave. I'm not done here. We're trying to replace the head. <laughs> Do you know where it is? Go to the Bone Grinder's hut. Where they make dream pastries. Do you have another... Do you know where? Town? Where is it in relation to here? I don't know. Do you know anyone that does? You can roll an insight on them. You can too, Absidy, since you're looking at That's it. That's a natural 19. Uh, insight? Mm-hmm. Um, 19. He looks to be lying. Why would you... Oh, that's a modded 23. Um, why would you keep this person's name from us? Or their whereabouts from us? They're in this room. The person who stole the head is in this room? No. Oh. Uh, where the location is. Am I allowed to search with your permission and you see the the sword go back on his shoulder you're testing my patience you should leave now um i'm going to cast shield of faith i'm gonna come in before he can cast it oh it's just shield of faith i'm just casting like a protection i'm adding two to my ac uh, wouldn't he see that as like a threat oh no i'm just i'm literally it's uh, it's only a uh, it's a religious symbol on a piece of parchment. Oh, okay. So, um, why am I trying your patience? What am I doing? You're annoying me. I've asked you kindly to leave. You have very kindly. So fuck so, off. You're I, not giving me any answers. I still come in, sir. You may hate Strahd more than anyone else, but I'm right behind you. I want him to suffer. I don't want him dead. Interesting. I want to see the pain in his eyes. And, and I will you see do it. kind of turn. You can roll persuasion. Uh, 22. Many smirks. You should watch him. He's looking to kill him. I know. Mm-hmm. But I won't let it happen. Neither will I. 
Seems we are in some sort of alignment then. I would say agreement. We so can you help me? Help you how? He may want to kill Strahd, but for now, he's helping us toward our goal. Hmm. Answer his question. We get one step closer. It's by the village of Barovia, of course. Hidden in plain sight. Who would know? I know. Is that who you were speaking of before? Yes, I was being coy. I like that. Not very bright. I just know that three hags took it to their old bone grinder. I don't know what they're doing with it. But I protect my stronghold. I do not leave here. We will go in your set. We will bring it back. And then you can help me torture him. For as long as I live. And for you. Forever. One roll insight on Absidy. Go for it. As you do that, he gets up. He puts, a gaunt- he puts a gauntlet out. Shake. I'll be here waiting. I look forward to it. Hmm. Not as much as I am. <laughs> Sorry. Was that a sneeze or a gap? Both. (laughs) And he slowly gets back down. His eyes start peering back down to the floor. What are we doing? I'll back out. I think we know where to go. Okay. So we are back in the hallway. Yeah. What are we doing? Uh, Isn't there... Is there any more doors? Anything else? Uh... There are these two rooms. Uh, I want to go in those. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. That is number 32. Um, as you go in, uh, basically I'll just give it to you because you went in both. Uh, most of this chamber has collapsed. The wooden floor is strewn with rubble and falls away into foggy abyss to the south. The roof overhead is jagged and broken. Nothing. No, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing special. Know. Okay. Um, I want to go back to uh, Godfrey. And um, is there is there anything else in this house that could help us and aid us in defeating Strahd or finding the, the head or killing these hags? Hmm. Hags. Vladimir was very helpful. He's upon here. some persuasion. He's... Uh, I'm sorry. I am no use. Do you know of a man with, with thistled hair? Do you know where he is? You're looking for his head. N- that's impossible. He He saw us in the cemetery. He looked right at us. Mm. This old hair? No. No, you're looking for his head. You just said the hags had it. Yeah, I guess I am. Uh, no reason to go into Godfrey's room, right? You can if you want. Yeah. You go in and... Let's see here, bring this back up. Um... Light enters the circular room through five cracked windows. The light falls on a large, dust-covered bed in the center of the room. Its posts topped with wood-carved dragons. Two large animals flank the double doors. One is a brown bear, standing on its hind legs, its claws outstretched. The other is a dire wolf, its face frozen in an evil snarl. And near the wolf lies an empty wooden chest. And inside, it seems to be a rain cloud that just drizzles. I got nothing. 
uh, I'll roll investigation just on the room in general, see if there's anything sure. hidden behind some stuff. What do you got? 13. Nothing special. Are we both with you? Uh, it's up to you guys. You guys haven't let me do my need anything this entire time, so I'm assuming I'm not with you. That's fair. We're mad at you. <sighs> I mean, I would assume you're with me. Unless, at least. I was, unless it's just you and dirt. Yeah, I mean, dirt. you you see anything dirt? Anything of note? Anything that would help? Sorry, I don't really see anything. I just see a really sad bedroom. This is a really sad place. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mr. Godfrey. And Godfrey just kind of smiles. It's quite all right. I'm going to, like, pat him on the shoulder and let him know. Godfrey, we're going to help you guys. Hmm. You're going to try. Slumps back down. Uh, I guess we'll just leave and go up to the roof then. Okay. (sighs) Roof. Did Godfrey say anything? Not really. Oh, wait. Oh. No, I'm I'm asking in character oh. so that while he's setting up, he just said we would try to help. He hasn't been very helpful. His room is just kind of sad. This whole place is sad. Did you did you mean what you said about Strahd? That I want him to suffer. That you don't want him dead. I just want him to suffer. Whatever does that is what I want. Absolutely, we're going to kill him. You know that, right? It's our job. That's why we're here. Okay. He won't stop following Irina unless he's dead. If you have any hope, any want to be with her, you need to kill him otherwise he's gonna hunt her down for the rest of his life or yours whatever happens first you may be right and I just walk forward Okay. as you do you walk up to the uh, east staircase and where are we going uh, what do we got here? So to the right here, it looks like another peak that goes up. Mm-hmm. And what's do I do? I see these things. Uh, you do. They are. Let's see here. Ancient ballistas, rotted by time and weather, and they stand behind battle mints on the tower rooftop. They look like they're old, kind of like weaponry that kind of defended the castle. Okay. Uh, is there any other rooms in this area? What's this? That's a giant hole in the floor. Got it. Roof. So I'm assuming this is water. That's the roof. That's part of the roof. Oh, got it. Okay. So what's this stuff? Uh, those are the tops of the where the other staircases were. Mm-hmm. There's nothing really there. Got it's it. More so the, this is really the only place that I can... That, that staircase is the only really the place we can go. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we're going to go up that staircase. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make a strength save to see if you can open it because it is closed. Uh, 13. Okay. Um, no, I can take a whack at it. Yeah, he's got to take a whack at it. Strength save? Uh, strength check. No, oh, he said save last. Sorry. Uh, that is a 19. Okay. Uh, you blast it open. Uh, so the paraffin narrows to a width of about 10 feet, so that's why it's a little... Yeah. Ending before a sturdy wooden door set into the wall, Eastern Tower, so you break through it. We're at... 50, which is here. Uh, A rickety wooden landing and a staircase cling to the walls of this tower. The stairs lead up to another landing 20 feet above, and the floor of the chapel lies 60 feet below. And very lowly, you hear What you doing up there? None of your fucking business. Oh, why don't you come down, sweetie? Don't tempt me, baby, or I will. Oh, I can't wait. Uh, so this is there's no there's nowhere else to go. This is literally the nope. 
There's the top. There's, there's a staircase that goes up. Oh, then I'm going. I'm going up. Okay. We do we know that voice? It's it's, it's, it's gray. gray. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, all from all the way down. I assumed. Okay. Um, creaky stairs climb to a wooden landing with three windows that look out over the roof of the mansion. Flaking the windows are two narrow wooden doors. As you go up, uh, who's all going up? Uh, I'm going up by one. Yep. Each one of you, I need you to make a deck saving throw. Saving throw. Uh, 14. Modded 20. Okay. 19. Okay, as you guys go, Rufio, it kind of creaks and it kind of collapses under you. And okay. it goes to the lower landing that you were originally mm-hmm. and it goes down. You get 20. It's 20 feet, so you get nine points of fall damage. Are you okay? Uh, this just keeps happening. Yeah, I think it's the armor. It's a little heavy. I'll, uh, yeah, and I'll go back up trying not to make another deck save. Let's do it. Look, I can just go. What'd you get? 12. You hit the same spot. Sick. <laughs> Guys, I'm really good at this. Uh, you take eight points. Wait, so did did we make it over? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And you hear Gray, ha, 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 ha. I'm just gonna look at it and we'll get up to where I can and I'm just gonna misty step over. Okay. Uh... Then you guys get to 52, which is here. Okay. Don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. So a stone battlement encloses the roof of this turret. A spiral staircase descends to the level below. I'm going to throw those the last nine lay on hands on myself. Okay. And like then there coming. is one more set of wooden stairs that go up to its peak. Looks like we gotta get to the highest point still, boys. Just a few more steps. Alright, let's do one more. Uh, Is there nothing else in this area? No, it's, it's literally just, just staircases, staircases right? Okay. Yeah. And then, okay. Uh, as you go up, wooden stairs climb to the tire, tower's peak, which has a stone floor and a 30-foot high pitched roof. Ravens roost on a crisscrossing rafters, coming and going through small holes in the roof. Ten foot high, five foot wide, arch windows are evenly spaced around the walls. Each window consists of a lead latticework fitted with a small pane of transparent glass. And the ravens here just kind of look at you. Not like huge, like the were-ravens. Yeah. They're just regular ravens. Uh, now, if you look out the, the win- there there are windows on each side. Mm-hmm. Um, each one of you want to look out a window? Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, who's taking what? I'll, I'll take north. go uh, east. I'll go... I can't really tell which direction's which, so west. Okay. So to the north and the east, it uh, lies a mist-shrouded valley with dark woods, a small town, and a lonely windmill on a precipice. <gasps> <laughs> Your windmill. My windmill. To the west, between rocky hills, you glimpse an abbey perched on a snowy mountainside beyond a long stretch of fog smothered pines. And the uh, the small town you notice is still smoldering two weeks later. Valakai, do we have like a sense of direction? Will we like know that that's. You know it's yeah. Valakai. But Got it. You also see the windmill. We also uh, see the windmill? Yeah. On that side, too? No, on uh, north and east. Oh, okay. So I would say at north, you can kind of see Valakai and Absa. You see east. Um, and you're at west? Yeah. So, Shard, as you're looking out, you look on the window pane, and you see this very old, cracked book, leather bound. It looks fragile. Okay. I pick it up. Okay. Um, do you thumb through it, or? I'd like to. Okay. I'm not good at the reading stuffs, but. As you thumb through it, it looks like most of it has been tattered and worn, but it does seem like there is something there that is legible. What's it say? 
Of course, the dumb guy gets the thing. Should have poked in the west. Uh, pick the west. It's uh, actually pronounced west. Did I put it here? You trying to hide it, or you just kind of thumbing through with your paws? Can you I'm, read? Yeah. Can Are chart sure? read? I'm just reading it to myself. Okay. What are okay. you guys doing? Yeah. We, and you kind of just need, see Shart like, like dead. looking what? through. Hey, Shart, I think this is your windmill. No. Shart? Are you sure it's my windmill? I mean, it's I a windmill. We don't know of any other ones. What are you reading? Found a book. You know how to read? This is a new feature. I can read. Well, what is it? I am the ancient. I am the land. My beginnings are lost in the darkness of the past. I was the warrior, I was good, and just. It th I thundered across the land like the wrath of a just god. But the war years and the killing years wore down my soul as the wind wears stone to sand. All goodness slipped from my life. I found my youth and strength gone, and all I had left was death. My army settled in the valley of Barovia and took power over the people in the name of a just god, but with none of a god's grace or justice. I called for my family. I called for my family, long unseated from their ancient thrones, and brought them here to settle in the castle. Uh, settle in the castle, Ravenloft. They came with my younger, with a younger brother, a younger brother of mine, Sergey. He was handsome and youthful. I hated him for both. From the families of the valley, one spirit thrown above all others, a rare beauty, who was called perfect joy and treasure. Her name was Tatiana, and I longed for her to be mine. I loved her with all my heart. I loved her for her. I loved her for her youth. I loved her for her joy. But she spurred me. Old One was my name to her. Elder and brother. Also, her heart went to Sergei. They were betrothed. The date was set. Sorry, there's more to this than I thought. <laughs> With words she called me brother, um, with words she called me brother, but when I looked into her eyes, they reflected another name, death. It was the death of the, uh, death of the aged that she saw in me. She loved her youth and enjoyed it, but I had squandered mine. The death that she saw in, in me, uh, turned her from me. And so I came to hate death. My death. My hate is very strong. I would not be called death. So soon I made a part, I made a pact with death. A pact of blood. On the day of the wedding, I killed Sergei, my brother. My pact was sealed with his blood. I found Tatiana weeping in the garden east of the chapel. She fled from me. She would not let me explain and a great anger swelled within me. She had to understand the pact that I made for her. I pursued her. Finally, in despair, she flung herself from the walls of Ravenloft, and I watched everything I ever wanted fall from my grasp forever. It was a thousand feet, though. The mists... Uh, yeah, it looks like the mist. The mists... No trace of her was ever found. Not even I know her final fate. Arrows from the castle guards uh, pierced me to my soul, but I did not die, nor did I live. I became undead forever. I have studied much since, since then. Vampire is my new name. I still lust for life and youth, and I curse the living that took them from me. Even the sun is against me. It is the sun and its light that I fear the most. But little else, ran uh, little else can harm me now. Even 
<clears throat> Even a stake through my heart does not kill me, and though it holds me from movement. But the sword, the cursed sword that Sergei brought, I must dispose of that tool. I fear and hate it as much as the sun. I have often hunted for Tatiana. I have even felt her within my grasp, but she escapes. She taunts me. What will it take to bend her love to me? I now reside far below Ravenloft. I live among the dead and sleep beneath the very stones of this hollow castle of despair. I shall seal that the walls... I shall, see, I shall seal that the walls of the stairs, that none, none may disturb me. Know your enemy, right? Sure sounds like Strahd. I think we should get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I think so too. Did anyone look south? Uh, dirt looks south. You find anything? Um, as you look south, you see a river that flows through a foggy marsh. Just making sure. No problem. As I'm thinking, I remember the sword that's on my back now. Mm -hmm. And I pull that out. Okay. Did you, did, do you unwrap it? I unwrap it. As you unwrap it, you see that the blade is bright. As if it is shining moonlight off of it. I think this might be it. He said he tried to dispose of it. I found it in a rotting box. You'd have to see you'd have to attune to it to see what it does. Or if you're not proficient, you can have someone else yeah. attune to it. This is on you, Rufio. It's one of us, yeah. If if something happens, run. Don't worry about me. Maybe we do this tomorrow. No. I need to do it now. Or at least downstairs. Yeah. I You guys go downstairs. Leave me here. If something happens, I don't want you guys to be in harm's way. Get dirt out of here. I'll come find you. Okay. As you lead down, uh, it takes about an hour to attune to it. Okay. Uh, dirt is also going to attune to his item. As you attune, put the moonlight on the blade shining you look down and you see where the camp is made where um, your new dusk elf friend is Car Coromir Cas Cas Casimir. Casimir. god damn it I'll figure <laughs> it out and slowly but surely you walk back down each creek feels like more and more time passing the more information you learn the more lost you fucking feel and as you get out of the uh the front of the house and you get to Casimir you see waiting at the end of the road that you hadn't noticed before because it was not there before you see a coffin you go over to the coffin and it says on it fearer rare as you open a swarm of bats come out and the mocking laughter of Strahd van Zarevich. and with that we will end tonight's session. Man, got me goose bumping all over here. That's what I do. Blanking ain't even helping. Fuck. All right, guys. Well, that is uh, our last session of the night tonight. Whew. That is, uh, that's some, some heavy shit. Yeah. Fuck. All right. Well, comment, like, subscribe. Um, let us know what you were for Halloween this year. In the comments. We don't care, but, like, let us know. Even though by the time this happens, it's going to be mid-December. What do you want, yeah, for what you want for Halloween? What? What said, did you wear? What, 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 what were you, you wear? I what? thought you said let us know what you want for Halloween, what and I'm like, that's Halloween. not a gift. I want Elvira. <laughs> <laughs> well, let She's us know what you were for Halloween, even though it's six weeks too late, because we don't care it's about your time. Weeks. No, because we have we have the two. Oh right. We have Pally and yeah, Thomas. Yeah, never mind. 
<laughs> so it's going to be six weeks late. So let us know um, who your Valentine is. I like that one better. We can do both. Oh, 